Hi y'all. I wanted to discuss a project I've been working on. The other day uh, I was cleaning out under the bed and I found some tubs that had some old stuff. And uh, in those tubs and then I guess in a drawer also found a couple of old moonbeams and an old mag light. Not really uh not really the sort of thing people use anymore in this day of uh O light and through night and streamlight and surefire. I'm sure there's others. Uh but man, how I do love these old things. They uh they're indestructible, that's for sure. Because they're so simple, that's why. And, uh, and mag lights, they're big and heavy and bulky. But there was no denying that, that back in the day, they, they were something that was well built. And uh, I didn't want to just throw this stuff away. It was all still in good functioning condition. And really, that mag light, that's some, uh, some, some raw materials went into that. And these, there's not really anything like them. Uh, the, the red filter alone, that just, that just brings me back to, to days out in the field, cold nights, trying to operate with little sleep. Uh, so I thought, well, maybe I can modernize these. And I found a, a seller on Etsy and eBay that sells some conversion kits. Uh, so I got an LED. I, ha I actually did have a couple LEDs for some of these things. Uh, but I did get a couple more LEDs. Uh, I got some 18650 batteries. These are fully charged now. And I got this battery adapter along with uh, this other battery adapter uh, over here. This, this LED here. That's all for the mag light. Uh, this particular adapter here. It's for the moonbeam, and the way it works, sorry about that, the way it works is there's a, a brass screw in here that acts as the contact. It comes through the right distance such that uh, when you put the 18650 battery in it, into it, the 18650 battery protrudes at the back, and happens to be the same length as two D-cell batteries. So I'll go ahead and remove the end cap here uh, from the moonbeam. We will stick this in. This is positive terminal that goes in this way. Screw this cap back on. This might take two hands. So, please forgive. And we'll go ahead and unscrew this. Take out the old incandescent bulb. Sorry, <clears throat> I jumped away there for a moment uh, trying to open up this package. So we'll take the new LED, we'll drop that in, we'll screw this in, take this, screw it on, apologize that I started that off camera. Now we have a rechargeable LED powered moonbeam. Let's see how that does. It's broad daylight in this room and that's through a red filter. So I feel like this is casting a pretty good light. We can uh, take off that red filter here for a moment. And uh, let's see how the white light does. Wow, that's a uh, that's a lot better than any moonbeam I've ever seen was. I'm going to finish charging up one more battery, and then we'll come back and take care of the mag light. All right, so 
we were coming back to work in the Maglite, but uh, we came across an issue. Uh, the distance of three D cell batteries uh, should match the distance of the total um, 1860, 18650 battery assembly, but they appear to be too long. I think uh, it's a simple solution in that the brass screw that's in here forming uh, the bridge between the positive battery terminal and where the battery needs to connect. I think the, the post in there is just a little too long and I'll need to cut it. Uh, should be an easy fix. And actually, when you remove the battery and line everything up, you notice that the length is a lot closer. There's just a, a little gap there for the uh, negative battery terminal to protrude just a less than an eighth of an inch. So I'm gonna work on that. Um, yes, I did slice my thumb open on the <laughs> threading on the Maglite. Uh, nice sharp aluminum even after all these, I don't know, probably 12 years. So we're not gonna go ahead and, and do this one right now. Uh, I might update y'all in the future if I, I'm able to get this one working. Uh, but we were able to get the moonbeam working and I, I was able to show that to y'all. So apologies for this one, but uh, thank you for, for viewing. Um, we'll go ahead and do the, the internet video thing. Hit like, hit subscribe. I've been negligent in my internet video reminder duties and telling you before, hit notifications. So hit like, hit subscribe, hit notifications. So you, you'll find out when I have more of these videos. And then after you've done all those things, get down in the comments and, and, and tell me, you know, is, is this a, a fool's errand? Am I just trying to make some antique flashlights last longer than they should? Or, or is this worthwhile? Um, the plan was to keep this one in the car so that I could, I, I don't know, beat off monsters in the middle of the night when I'm changing my tire or something. Or, you know, is that is that dumb? I know, am I just falling uh, victim to sentimentality? Or is uh, putting some extended life into these things uh, a valiant effort? It's probably not a cost-effective effort, but it might have some some merit to it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Have a good one.